Happy Monday. You are joining me <clears throat> this morning in the Simon Family Memorial Garden here at Temple Judea. Very sacred, special place where many of our loved ones' names and family members' names are memorialized uh, on the walls here. It's also one of the very few spaces here at Temple of Judea where very few of our members uh, go to gather, to mourn, to celebrate. So it really is a very special place indeed. Being outside, you can hear the bustle of the town. Cars getting to and from places of work, business, school. The train going clickety-clack, clickety-clack on the train tracks moving people from one location to the next. Time doesn't stop, but we know when you lose a loved one, it feels like it does. And as we approach Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and all of the Chagim with Sukkot, we especially remember those who we wish we could celebrate these holy days with, but are now unable to. So how do we bring honor to them? How do we bring them closer to our soul? For one, do mitzvot. Honor your loved ones by performing holy acts that bring you closer to the Holy One of Blessing, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And two, talk about your loved ones. Share their names with family and friends and their stories. And three, while praying during the Chagim, be sure to pause the prayers that are in the book and get lost in the prayers within your heart. Bring them into that moment, that space, whether you're at home, maybe you're outside enjoying services as they're being streamed on Zoom. Maybe you're inside. Don't get lost in the cacophony of the world around you, but be present and bring them into your prayers. So there are three things that we can do. First, talk about them, share their names, do meets vote, and finally, bring them into the prayers during the Chagim as if they're joining you in person. Well, here from the Simon Family Memorial Garden, I wish you a blessed, um, restful, peaceful, joyful, and meaningful holy day season.